Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel World Veterinarian. Today in this video we are going to discuss about ovary hysterectomy in beech. Ovary hysterectomy is a surgical procedure consisting of laparotomy with ablation of both ovary and uterus. Indications are to avoid breeding and heat, ovarian tumor and ovarian cyst, uterine diseases like pyometra, metritis, chronic endometrial hyperplasia and prolapse and minimize the risk of mammary gland tumors. What are the pre-operative care we should take? Before performing ovary hysterectomy, animals should be normal, healthy and would require complete blood count. Whereas in disease condition, first stabilize the animal and use safe anesthesia. Animal with hepatorenal insufficiency should not undergo general anesthesia. If the urea level are greater than 0.6 g per liter and creatinine level is greater than 10 mg per liter, such animals are associated with poor peri and post operative survival. So, it is essential to perform complete and detailed pre operative clinical examination with blood test and serum biochemistry. For anesthesia, various protocols are available. Anesthesia should be choose depending upon the condition of animal. As a pre-medication, morphine at 0.1 mg per kg per hour intravenous, followed by general anesthesia propofol at 5 mg per kg. For maintenance, isoflurane gas 2% is given. What we use at our clinic is xylazine as a sedative at 1 to 2 mg per kg intramuscular. Dissociative anesthetic ketamine at 5 mg per kg intravenous and diazepam at 0.5 mg per kg intravenous. Diazepam is act as a muscle relaxant and locally lignocaine hydrochloride 2% is used. Before starting the surgical procedure, all the instrument, clamps, artiforceps, scissors, scalpel, suture material and needle should be sterilized. Animal restraints and preparation of surgical site. Ensure that the beach has been fasted since the previous day in elective surgery. In an emergency situation after induction of anesthesia, rapid intubation with cuffed endotracheal tubes should be prevent the aspiration of stomach content due to gastric reflux. Surgical sites should be clipped, shaved and scrubbed several times with disinfectant solution like povidone iodine. Beach is positioned in dorsal recumbency with her front legs pulled forward and tied to the table and back legs tied back then beach should be put on drape of normal saline as you can see in this photograph make a 4 to 8 cm incision just caudal to the umbilicus through skin and subcutaneous tissue to expose the linea alba grasp the linea alba or ventral rectus sheath tent it outward and make a stab incision into the abdominal cavity extend the linea incision cranial and caudal to the stab incision with myo scissor. For ovary hysterectomy, elevate the abdominal wall with thumb forceps and slide the ovary ectomy hook against the abdominal wall 2 to 3 cm caudal to the kidney. Then exteriorize the uterine horn with the hook and identify the suspensory ligament at cranial edges of ovarian pedicle. Stretch or tear the suspensory ligament to allow exteriorization of the ovary using the index finger to apply caudolateral traction on the suspensory ligament while maintaining the caudomedial traction on uterine horn. Place a 2 carmine forceps across the ovary and pedicle, proximal to the ovary and one across the proper ligament. Remove the most proximal clamp and place figure 8 ligature at this side. For figure 8 suture, direct the blunt end of the needle through the middle of the pedicle. Loop the suture around one side of the pedicle and then redirect the needle through the original hole from the same direction and loop the ligature around the other half of the pedicle and securely tie the ligature. As in this photograph, place a circumferential ligature proximal to the first ligature, then place the hemostate on the suspensory ligament near the ovary. Transect the ovarian pedicle distal to the clamp across the ovarian pedicle. Then separate the broad ligament from the uterine horn. Clamp and ligate the broad ligament if it appears vascular. Ligate the uterus, place a figure 8 suture through the uterine body near the cervix. Place a second circumferential ligature closer to the cervix. Then place a carmine forceps distal to the ligature and transect between the carmine forceps and ligature. After ligation, inspect the uterine stump for hemorrhage. If there is a hemorrhage, you should stop it before the closing of abdominal wall. Suturing of the muscle is done with continuous lock stitch suture pattern by using absorbable suture material like catgut and PDS. 
Skin suture is done by non-absorbable suture material like cotton thread, silk and nylon. For a skin suture, simple suture, horizontal or vertical mattress, any of this pattern you can use. What are the post-operative care we should take? Proper management of surgical wound with daily dressing with antiseptic solution. Give appropriate antibiotic and analgesic to prevent secondary bacterial infection and pain management. Apply Elizabeth color for prevent leaking of surgical wound. Complication of ovary hysterectomy is internal bleeding, stump palmetra, maggot wound, peritonitis, pus draining from surgical wound and secondary bacterial infections. Thank you for watching this video till here. If you learned something from this video, please like, comment and share with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe our channel World Veterinarian and press the bell icon so you will be notified when we upload a new video.